Volcanoes, volcanic eruptions. Volcano, it is a vent on Earth's crust that can release magma, molten rock, ashes, and other gases. Crater, it is the opening of a volcano. It is where the molten rock, ashes, and gaseous materials are being forced out. Magma. It refers to molten rock. Inside the volcano is the magma chamber. The magma that reaches the surface of the earth is called lava. It flows out from the vent during volcanic eruption. How does a volcano form? Magma in the asthenosphere, a highly viscous, mechanically weak, and ductile region of the upper mantle of the earth is produced when plate movements create internal pressure within earth. Collision of plates may result to subdivision which causes magma from within the upper mantle to rise to the surface. This forms a volcano. Volcanoes vary in sizes. Some are just low-lying depressions while others are tall. Volcanoes also vary in shapes. Some are shaped like a cone while others are like a dome. Types of volcanoes according to their sizes and shapes. Shield volcanoes, cinder volcanoes, and stratovolcanoes or composite volcanoes. Shield volcanoes. They have broad cone with long, gently sloped sides. Examples. Shield volcanoes in Hawaiian Island. Cinder volcanoes. They are steeper but narrower than shield volcanoes. Example, Mount Etna in Italy. Stratovolcano or composite volcanoes. They are cone-shaped and steeper than shield and cinder types. They are alternately made up of pyroclastic materials and rocks from solidified lava flow. Examples, St. Helens in Washington, Mount Fuji in Japan, and Mount Mayon in the Philippines. Volcanoes are so beautiful to look at when serene, but there are times when volcanoes brought massive destruction to lives, properties, and environment. Volcanic eruptions. It happens when lava and gas are discharged from the vent of the volcano. It can be a non-explosive eruption or explosive eruption. Non-explosive eruption. Eruption where lava just flows out from the crater and gaps along sides of the volcano. It happens when there is less pressure in the magma chamber. Less pressure when magma is located nearer the Earth's surface. Explosive eruption. Eruption where large amounts of pyroclastic materials are ejected by the volcano into the air. Pyroclastic materials consist of lava, ashes, volcanic glasses, and rocks. This eruption happens when gases in the magma are trapped, causing a buildup of pressure in the magma chamber, and as a result, the gases expand very quickly and explode violently. This kind of eruption is also accompanied by an earthquake. Status of volcanoes 
active volcanoes, dormant volcanoes, and extinct volcanoes. Active volcanoes. Volcanoes that erupted during the past 10,000 years and showing signs that it may erupt anytime. Examples, Mount Mayon, Mount Taal, Mount Bulusan, and Mount Pinatubo. Dormant Volcanoes Volcanoes that have not erupted for the past 10,000 years but has the possibility to erupt. Examples, Mount Malindang and Mount Batulaw. Extinct Volcanoes Volcanoes that have not erupted for at least 10,000 years and is not expected to erupt. Examples, Mount Butay and Mount Ginsiliban. Volcanology It is the study of volcanoes. Volcanologists are the scientists who study eruptive activities and formations of volcanoes and their current and historic eruptions. FIVOX, Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology. It is an institution responsible in providing information on the activities of volcanoes, earthquakes, and tsunamis. Did you know that there are about 300 volcanoes in the Philippines. 22 of these are active volcanoes. The majority of the active volcanoes are located in the island of Luzon. And the six most active volcanoes are Mount Mayon in Albay, Mount Pinatubo in Zambales, Mount Hibok-Hibok in Camiguin, Mount Canlaon in Negros Island, Mount Bulusan in Sorsogon, and Mount Taal in Batangas. The recent volcanic eruption in the Philippines that was recorded was the Mount Taal eruption last January 12, 2020.